since I was a child. I love to see art. Uh, my father used to bring us, my sister and I, that she was an artist too, uh, books of art of the museums in Europe. I was born in, in Bogota, Colombia. My name is Fanny Sanin. I went for a year at the University of Illinois in, in Urbana, Champaign, and I continued to paint and study art history. Took some classes of printmaking. I, I really have had the opportunity to travel to China, Turkey, Denmark, Norway, and, and here in the United States. I, I am spending a lot of time in the museums and galleries trying to know and to admire all the artists of different periods. At the end of 1968, I was in London. In my way back, they, I passed through Paris, and, and they, they have a big exhibition uh, at the Grand Palais uh, called the Art to the Real. And there were many artists, especially American artists, that were working in, in, in the new abstraction and the size and the colors and everything was very uh, new to me and I was very impressed. It, it was uh, impressed me very much, so I decided to follow the same language that those artists and uh, uh, many of them that I admire a lot. Uh, many people ask me how I define myself and I, I said that I am citizens of the world uh, <laughs> and as my work is, is abstract, concrete abstract, it doesn't have any reference uh, of reality or the, the, the real world. To give you an example, I was uh, recently invited to participate in a show where I should show how the pandemic has affected my work uh, or changed my work. And of course, it did affect me a lot, no? For two months, I couldn't paint, and it was horrible to, to hear that all these people in the world in New York were dying. So it was very hard for me to come back to my work. Finally, I did it. Uh, uh, I still continue to paint it with uh, my rigor, my intensity, and the honesty that I have. So I cannot say that I abstract for the reality to do my abstraction. You know, the abstraction is called concrete abstraction. So it doesn't refer to the, to the work.